Yo, everyone, we are back with Octopath Traveler 2. And I don't really have much of an intro. It's just kind of the last time we dealt with the first chapter of the first character in the game. Well, our first character. Different depending on who you choose, but I went with this girl because she's cute. Cute, has a cool design, and yeah. Uh, I noticed something when I was going through this. This is lit up. Skills. Which seems to be the same way it worked in Octopath 1, which is you get JP and you use that to buy whatever skills you want. So we're going to look through all this. Alright, uh, this is an axe skill. We didn't, we don't have an axe skill yet, so that might be a good one. Powerful axe attack on a single foe and grant yourself positive status effects based on the foe's type. That sounds really interesting, actually. And I'm pretty sure whatever we get... Yeah, sorry. Got a bit of heartburn today. Uh, whatever we get, I'm pretty sure the JP cost is going to go up, though, so I want to check everything else first. Bow attack on a single foe, otherwise lethal attacks will instead leave the target with 1 HP. Okay, so this is like a, if you really want to hunt something, you get that. Critical rate and accuracy, that's not bad. Single foe to act at the end of the turn for two turns. That's also really good. One of... Okay, that one seems like the the least important, but all of these sound real good. I'm going to get this because raw damage just sounds real good early game. And a variety of skills. Job points you earn in battle to learn new skills. I do like that it actually has Ochet over there. Like, I'm assuming that's one thing that would have changed depending on which character I chose, which is nice. Never mind, I need 100 for the next one. Okay. I'll probably get Leg Hold Trap next, because I don't think I'm going to have to worry about Mercy Strike quite yet. And then, a skill exclusive to Ochetta can be obtained by meeting certain requirements. Okay, so we have character-specific skills. That's new. Oh, require dialogue. Hello, good sir. Damn that rotten thief, he took my bag. What do I do now? I won't be able to continue my travels without it. Oh, are you a traveler? An octopath one, sir. I'm also on a journey. My name is Al. It's a pleasure to meet you. I would have said AI if I hadn't looked at the top left and seen the different font. I've heard this area is quite dangerous, so you would best be careful. Thieves abound at night. I lost my bag to one such man. I can't believe it's Theria and he made it here. Now I need to figure out how to get it back. So... Oh. You can freely switch between daytime and nighttime on your travels. Okay, that... Cool, I don't have to go to, like, certain areas. Time of day affects towns as well. Path actions will also change, so try using them in all sorts of places. Stronger monsters come out at night, too, which can come in handy when you want to strengthen your... Ooh, so that's good for grinding purposes. That's great to know. The tale of the Traveler's Bag, so... Okay, interesting. Is there anything down here? I guess we'll just explore and see if we find that person or not. Why, hello there. Uh, can I... Can I actually capture you? I can, but I, obviously I need to weaken you a bit more. Which, you know, makes sense. Let's do a Kala. Always a good start. Ow. I forgot it. my HP is kind of low. This isn't really my best idea. Uh, I have you. How much can I heal with just one boost? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Alright, we take those. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say an axe is probably good for a... Oh, you're a jellyfish. Never mind. I thought you were like a weed. Okay, that did not work. Maybe like, Actually, electricity feels like it wouldn't work on a jellyfish. I was gonna say I have that, but... Alright, cool. I could do stuff there, at least. We'll go with this. Easy catch. Alright. Uh... I have two of you, and I don't think I need 
multiple of you, so we'll get rid of one of you. Well, luckily you just got so many. You do it on your own time, though. I'm not feeding you. Especially when you got a level up. That automatically fills your tummy. So you do not get to complain. At the moment. Uh, oh, hey. I think we saw this area in the opening. Guess it makes sense. Oh, I see. So I changed that and it causes the NPC to, to appear for the sake of this. Empowering Lichi. What's that do? Is that like a buff thing? Uh, no. Oh, it fills the latent power gauge, I see. Uh, you're a new one, I think. Had a feeling. Ow, my stats. Can you not? Whoa, status effects galore. All right, let's see. Basic stuff, attack up, attack down, magic up and down, accuracy up slash down. Uh, crit up and down, speed up and down, evasion up and down. Poison, silence, blindness, terror, unconsciousness. Oh, that's an interesting one. Sleep, cannot perform any action, confusion, just random. Okay, pretty basic stuff for an RPG. I can deal. Well, our attack stats are down, so that's not fun. Okay, yeah, I simply do not have enough. Understandable. Deal with this. Bam, bam. Just gotta deal with some stuff. If it's my first time fighting an enemy, I'll, I'll at least, you know, keep that in. This game is gonna be long, but I don't want to make it overly long, I guess. I will, however, do this, because, uh, yeah. You don't deserve mercy. I have three of these things now. Maybe this'll work? Maybe, maybe still not my best idea. What if I just merc you? Well, cool animation at least. Light the fire. Up in the night. Oh, there we go. You are my child now. Uh, this one was just like regular ass attack. Yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of that. I'm sorry, I'm going to do that consistently. It will get annoying. I apologize. I apologize, and yet I will still persist in my foolishness. With the new anything in this bag? A map? I ain't never seen a place like this. Hey, who the hell are you? You got business with me? Get back. It's the it's a start of the game. I know you're not gonna be too you're not gonna be too strong at least. I hope. Watch you do like freaking 300 damage and I might survive with like 1 HP. Okay, that didn't do much. We're fine. You ain't nothing. Uh, let's just do one attack first. Bum, ba -bum. Deal with that. Okay, but can I capture No. <laughs> Wahoo! Alright, deal with this. Slow it down. Camera effect! Bam! Obliterated. Well, he's not gonna be an Octopath Traveler 3. I like making those type of jokes way too much recently. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Damn, you can have it. Stupid bag is worthless anyway. Okay, bye, nerd. Owl's bag. Alright, here you are. Lost my bag, blah, blah, blah. Here you go, sir. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. 
continue my journey. <laughs> no prob. I pray we meet again. Get out of here. So ends the tale of the traveler's bag. Uh, I, I realized because of the day and night cycle, I might be able to go back to the town and do stuff. But let's push forward first. When I get like, actually, I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna get the ability to like do fast travel and stuff, but uh, I'll probably get it eventually, and then I can mess around. Like I can go just any of like the non-important quests I can probably just do off camera and whatnot. Granted, I don't necessarily know what will qualify as that, but time will tell. All right. What do we got up here? A uh, chest? Wind soul stone. It's always decent. Oh, wait, can I get another skill? Okay, never mind. You actually get uh, JP way faster than I thought you do. Well, I already said I was going to do this, so okay. Support skill, try to equip it. Heightened senses. Gain an increased chance of attacking first in battle. Ooh. Okay, so it's just per character. Per character is singular. Wait, what else was it? Oh, I didn't equip it. Fair enough. The game did not automatically equip it for me. SMH. Bad game. Bad game. Go under the arch here. I would run, but I don't know. I think just going at a brisk pace has its benefits. You know, less chance of running into enemies. Well then. You know what? I'm wasteful. Let's just, let's just murderize you. Not to the fullish extent, but let's just see this animation. Pfft. Sweet. Nice sound design, by the way, on that. Inspiring Plum. Sadly, this is not Trails. I cannot check the, the chest for extra dialogue. Looks like the game's pretty good about leading us only one way, though. Beasting Bay. Anchorage. I mean, I'm guessing this is where we end up reaching the sea. Because this world does seem like we're going to have a lot of water traversal, which seems interesting. Can we read the sign? Uh, tr Tropul Hopul. Uh, okay. Well, we fought you before, so... Yeah, we already fought you before. Never mind. Alright, what do we got? Slumber Sage. Do not know what that does quite yet. Uh, I think we're getting to the point where this game is going to like open up and I'm going to freaking lose my way a million times. It's going to be too open to the point that I don't know what I'm doing. Healing Grape. Uh, there's a place we can get down there. I don't know what's over here, though. Exploration is the name of the game. Uh, danger level 18. Never mind. We ain't going there yet. No, sirree. All right. What do we got over here? Is this a way to just... Okay, we can simply go on the water. Fair enough. And we can instantly get into water. Or into a fight in the water, I should say. Alright, enough of that. I wonder how we disembark. There's gotta be a way to do it. What's that up there? Uh, well, we're probably gonna have to go through the ports. This is like a cave that leads underwater or something? Whew! 48? Heck no to that. I mean, I was just curious if it would change at night. Does it change at night? Uh, nope, still 48. Fair enough. Uh, what the hey? Okay, the game does not want me to go that way. Can I disembark? No, I cannot. Oh, these are new ones. Uh, Beast Lore. Akala. How are you floating on water? Maybe, it, you know what? Questions for later. Ones I should not be putting too much stock into. And I am also not doing well on SP. Oh well. Uh, okay. Well, I'm learning their weaknesses. I can't really say that's doing much. You just, you just put my turn back. 
think I'm standing for that. Okay, bows. Great to know, great to know. Okay, you are getting on my nerves. So you can very kindly stop that. Okay, that really didn't do as much as I thought it would, actually. Kind of kind of not my best idea. Uh, hmm. Well, I think we've... Eh, I don't know. I was going to say, I think we've seen most of this. So this is Like, this LP is going to take millions more episodes if I wait too much longer on these things. Like, if I, if I did a reaction to every single enemy, it would be kind of, uh, maybe repetitive? Still no. Okay, well, you know what? We'll take that. Uh, what do you do? Restore health. So you seem like... Wait, what was the other one we had? You. Seems like it's just a higher version of that, so might as well. Alright. And gotta get back to shore. And level 10 reached. And also civilization reached. Of some type, at least. Uh, let's make sure it's... Wow, flat two hours. Alright, I'll take that. Take Talk to this person as well. I've never seen the shop open. Not once. Can I beat you up? I mean... Do I risk it? Probably not. That seems a tad too risky for my current self. Oh, so we can actually board a ship. Found a bottle of white dust on the ferry that one of the passengers must have accidentally left behind. Which passenger? So I can get back to them. I mean, I could beat you up if that's what you want. I mean, you got. I can. Yeah, what's my stats at? I mean, maybe it doesn't. Oh, we're topped off. I can beat you. I can beat your face in. Come on, then. <laughs> what do you have? What do you think you're gonna do? Meditate. Okay, I don't like that. Wait, oh. Was that... Was that supposed to do something to me? Because I didn't really feel like it. Alright. You still do the most damage. Do ya da wa da da Bye-bye. Maybe it would be better if I used a call. I think that just does more damage. Let's test that, shall we? 73. Though it does break, so maybe that does extra damage. I actually forget. I do not recall if it breaks or not. Okay, we did not get anything from beating them up. Well done. Oh! Eastern Journey... Make for Western Continent... Uh, huh. Eastern Continent, New Delsta Harbor. Make for Western Continent, Can Canal, Canal Brine. All right, I actually was thinking ahead about this. I'm going to do something, well, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but uh, where did I, where is it actually? I don't use this app at all. I am trying to look for my, uh, for my freaking compass app on my phone. There it is. All right. I'm just, I'm simply going to spin my phone on my finger and then just catch it in whatever way it faces closer to. So three, two, one. Uh, that didn't actually work too well, hold up. It is facing east. So we will go up here. Wow, that's a cost. Sure. Yeah, I kind of literally just spun it on my finger and let it fall into my lap and just saw where it went from there. Do we get like a cutscene or anything, or are we just... Oh, we do. That's cool. Traveling up and to the east. I was kind of hoping we get to explore the wide world here, but you know what? Makes sense. Kind of doing these things a bit wacky. Whoa. 
Why is it making this sound when we're walking on concrete? Oh, it's because we were walking in a puddle. Fair enough. I thought the budget already crapped itself, but no, that was just extra attention to detail I couldn't even realize. What's this all say? Okay. Listen, I literally just got here. Can you cut me some slack? None at all, I swear. Okay. Ow. Gosh knows I'm definitely going to have to get some new stuff around here. Sadly, I don't really get to choose who gets it. I don't get to really choose who gets attacked. Which, not really the best, but... Oh well. Sometimes you gotta roll with it. Uh, you have a lance attack. Uh, uh, what was this one? Yeah, I don't really care much about that, so I'll take that. Stop attacking me. What have I ever done for you? Er... You know what? That, that kind of was the opposite of what I meant to say. Ignore that. Or, well, I guess we're not going to figure out what you do. Oh, well. Anyways. Uh, I started blasting. Kill your friend. Wow, you're weak. You couldn't even kill your friend in one shot. How weak are you? What? Whatever. Perish. Good to know. Axe works on them. Now let's grab some I remember when I first played the first game, I, like, literally fought every enemy millions of times just to uncover literally every weakness of every enemy. I was very obsessed with the, with the first game. I will try to reel myself back, though, to not make this game last hundreds of hours this time around. It's very funny, like, this is a port area, and yet we still, like, just run into enemies here. Like, they do not care. I legit don't even know, like, where we are on the map. Where are we now? Oh. Oh, we can just straight up see where everyone is from here. Oh, that's where her chapter two is. Very interesting. Here's where we came from. So, there's three characters on this side of the continent. And five on the other side. Oh. Recommend... Huh? What's that all about? Wildlands... Chapter 2. Glacis's root. So what... Is there multiple... Recommended level 15. Gata... It says root. Why does it say root? So, are, are we supposed to go gather all of them just for chapter 2? Huh. If, if so, that's interesting. So, we have three places we can go. The Brightlands, the Crestlands, and the Winterlands. Out of the three characters... Uh, well, right now we only have a Hunter. So, we have a DPS. I don't think we'd want to go down here because I don't think we need a... Because... I believe she's a thief, so I don't think that'd be too much more helpful than what we already have. So, my first bet is maybe getting some magic attacker, so maybe going to get the scholar, Oswald. I, besides that, I don't really have too many ideas. Does this work? Yep. Still weak to that, at least. Owie. You also do a decent amount of damage, sir. I would appreciate if you didn't do that, actually. What if I just do this? Like, just break you. Uh, capture? Oh, easy. Alright, cool. That's, yet again, just an upgrade. No reason not to get rid of that guy. Lie up at bum so I guess we're going to try to make a beeline north as much as possible. And then we're, we're going to be exploring all of this place, all of this land eventually. Hell, I might do some of it off screen if it's too, uh, you know, 
if it's too simple. The bright lens. Well, there is a northern way to go. We're going to be exploring it all anyway, so I'm just going to make a beeline up here. Like, even if I have to do it on my own time. Oh, that's cool. We're going to, like, fill it out slowly. So, yeah, north. We could go east, but I think going north is... I'm just more interested in Oswald as a character in general as well. Like, he just has a cool design, you know? Sometimes sometimes it's not really too special. Okay. That was a mistake on my part. Alright, I can skip this, by the way. Even though I'm on the frickin' verge of death here. Let's ignore that. Upwards we go. Man, this game's so pretty. Haven't truly gotten over it. What the heck is this? This sounds like a bad place. Abandoned waterway. Level 20. Hmm. I mean, dungeon crawling does sound fun, but at the same time, I really don't want to get my butt beat. So we are going to ignore that for the time being. However, we're not going to be able to ignore this. Well, luckily, I could just use regular attacks to deal with that guy. A kite shield? Uh... That does... I mean, it's just better. No downsides here. This music is so peaceful and nice. Cape Cold. Uh, wait, what was that? The Crestlands. So I guess this little area is the Heatlands. That is winter. Is this still the... Yeah, this is winter lens as well. So this whole stretch here seems to be winter. And then maybe this is going to be like... Okay, wh what area are we currently in? The Brightlands. This is also the Brightlands. So... I'm confused. Why is it... Oh, he leaks. I... Okay, yeah, I made a mistake there. Mabby, Mabby. Give me this chest, by the way. Herb of Serenity. I still can't get over how freaking cute a call is. I am very much justified in my decision to choose them. Southern Cape Cold Snows. This is probably not the best idea for... for Ochette to be wandering through. She is not really dressed for this weather. I mean, she's probably better than some characters, or like, at least one or two other characters, but overall, she is not really built for the cold. Uh, Here we go. Why, hello, look, it's relatives of you. Uh, Akala. Yet again. A sword, huh? Seems kind of simple, but hey, if it works, it works. Get him. Oh, that didn't do enough. Never mind. Uh, that works plenty. Dagger, huh? Bite. Okay. Single target. I don't know how good Evil Eye is. I want to keep the heal, at least. Uh, maybe we don't really need this anymore. Ow. Ow. Can you not? A bow does not do anything. Great to know! Okay, that hurts my everything. I wish you would not. Please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill! Okay, okay, I got all this for a reason. We're gonna use one. Get out of here. With all of that. Get him, Akala. Yeah, I am not a fan of that. I would appreciate if you would not. Bite your friend. And yet it still didn't kill. Uh, yeah. Snowy stew. Food is food. Alright. Man, am I gl He's just dead on the ground. That is him, isn't it? Oh, Chad, do you think we should just leave this dude? 
Yeah, you're probably right. He's just here dead on the ground. Oh shit. Don't want to skip ahead too far. He's just sleeping? Rescue the man from the... S nah. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to be a jerk. Okay, sure. Help the dude up. Where am I? Hello, friend. Was I unconscious? Yeah, down in the snow. Wasn't really a good look. You saved me there. Eh, no problem. Used to doing it all the time. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. Listen, if I'm not gonna get my own interactions, I'll make them. Even if they're one-sided interactions, I can still make the party at least have some conversations to fill the void. You must be... a traveler. An octopath? What is an octopath? Don't worry about it. I'm kind of doing my own thing. I'm looking for someone. Oh. I'm sure you have your own reasons for traveling. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? It's the only logical choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. Well, I did turn down the owl, and that was my main source of magic attacks. Sure. You've chosen well. Oswald joined your party. Temporary... Uh, hear the beginning of Oswald's tale. Choose no, you can still hear the story later. Sure. This tale will continue uninterrupted until the end of chapter two. Oh, This dude is a plot train, apparently. This is being held prisoner. What the hell happens to you? Okay. I, I guess we're doing this now. Jeez. What is this dude freaking hard mode? They just kind of spoiled his own plot by saying this dude's held prisoner, by the way. All things in this world have a source. Wasn't expecting this. I can say that much. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. You okay, man? We went we went from happy wolf girl lady to oh oh he on trial for some shit I think For the record you Oswald plead not guilty is that correct Prosecute oh my gosh we going through it Wow yeah I really chose like <laughs> talk about like difference in tones like Ochet is just like, yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find and capture these things to protect my village. And then he's just like I was condemned in prison and thrown onto the snow. Unconscious. I would have died if you had not come along. The facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. Oh, Never mind, it's even worse. His family is dead. Wife and child. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. Oh my god. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Wait, so do we stand guilty of killing them? Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. Yeah, could you be a bit more, you know, gentle? Oh, this dude, However, poor dude. There is one last inexplicable detail. Uh huh. Do say. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Oh, do they suspect it's like magic instead? Then, like that just seems like the, like where this is naturally heading. Sorry, I'm adjusting my volume so I can. This is the first time I've gotten voice acting this episode, so I haven't adjusted. For myself, at least. I don't know what it's going to sound like. Uh-huh. 
the use of magic, that is. Yep, that's what I thought. So, we'll, since we are a scholar and we use magic, you accuse us. Is that it? <laughs> you were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Yep, oh, I saw that one coming. Is that a mere coincidence? Hm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. Why do you, why do you think that there's no one else that knows magic that could have done it, eh? Could have been anyone. In the sacred name of Alaphan the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. It's Gaius von Valsar. Oswald v. Van Stein. That is a raw name. We find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. That's evil. Why are you mean like this? What did do he do? Any last words? <laughs> Harvey. Huh? The man who took everything from me. Harvey. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Br oh, this is a revenge tale. I think I remember this vaguely, but like, like, remember, I saw the first trailer for this game, so I remember some bits and bobs, but not much. And I do think I recall a re re revenge tale being the thing here. Five years later. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Wow. Yeah, talk about a, talk about a cruddy Frigid start. No, 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 no. I want to read that. I wanted to hear him say that. Damn it. Okay. Lincoln Not pressing anything. All through the, year. the nearest continent is due east. Four days' journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Oh, jeez. The fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mightiest ships. Trips to and from this accursed place. Are heavily regulated. So how the hell do you, how the hell does he escape from a place like that? I, mean, I guess that's what we're gonna figure out. Good lord, the tonal shift, the tonal whiplash between characters is nuts. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over three hundred of us at its peak in its eighty-year history. None have escaped. Uh, is that another... Is that a roommate in the back? Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. Damn. I have survived for 1,879 days. This is so raw. The unforgiving climate, nor the ravages of time. Can Shall save my hatred in my breast. His bosom, his booby. I'm sorry. I gotta take the piss out of this to some extent. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> you know what this is? Is it porn? Did you sneak it in? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. How long have we been roommates? You'd think we'd be friends by now, at least. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course, but you'll have to fight me for it. <sighs> Mug the prisoner f for the notebook. 
damn, look, dude is kind of buff, not gonna lie. Mug townspeople for their belongings. The freaking vibes are insane. Like, dude is actually kind of massive, though. Like, for a scholar, this dude is, like, large and in charge. Got a problem? I'll be needing that back. Time to fight. Prison scrap! Can I use spells while, while muzzled? Interesting. Do I have items? Apparently so. Beat him over the face. The lack of music for the sake of vibes, jeez. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Never mind, dude kinda has hands. Alright, I'm going to murderize you. I like how dude doesn't even have any dialogue right now. He is simply that broken down. Damn. Like, he doesn't even have lines. He's just... Mm. Yay, happy level up. Congratulations, inmate. You got stronger. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! There he is. Help! Somebody! Bro doesn't care. Oh, shoot. Yo, that's a cool design, though. This about? Oh my gosh, that's freaking Kaiji Tain. It took a single line for me to recognize him. This man has given me brain rot. It's him. He attacked me. Oh boy. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. Ow. Dude is silent. Oh wait, they said he was muzzled. Like, they said he was muzzled. Did they literally mean- Did they mean that- All that literally? Also, one sec. Sorry about that, folks. How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Okay, yeah, they literally muzzled him. Man cannot speak. I guess that's just how spells work in this game, is it's more like incantations. Incantations, I should- pronounce it as keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much yeah that's it okay you're the only one who has the honor of wearing it I'll have you know you should be kissing my feet he does such a good job like literally like I almost for a second like there was a line or two where I couldn't even tell it was Kaiji Tain like I recognize it was him for the first line but then I kind of doubted myself for a few because like he he just he has a wide range despite his usual stuff, you know. Like he he's one of those voice actors that usually sticks to one type of voice, but he can go out of his range and it sounds really good when he does. Anyways, enough VA simping for now. <laughs> Poor dude. What's that look for? Ow. I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. Dude, I can't wait for Oswald to get out of here. I do know that there's at least some amount of like character of like the main characters interacting in this game. And I'm excited for that because I want to see freaking Oswald have to like interact with some of the others like it's just gonna be really funny seeing a character on like a revenge tale that is going through it in every sense of the word or every sense of the phrase and then you just have characters that are having like happy-go-lucky adventures in comparison and it's just gonna be the dichotomy will be very funny when it happens when you're 
begging for your life, that is. <laughs> Like, uh, what's her name? Ag Agnea? Uh, the girl voiced by Xanth. I'm pretty sure her whole thing... <laughs> this dude's still stuck with us. Like, I want to say her whole deal is literally just... She is traveling around the world to be a better dancer, and she's just enjoying life. Which, maybe she'll come across some bad things, but I feel like it's mostly just going to be an, an enjoyable adventure until, like, the very... the last chapter. Thirteen seconds. Oh my gosh. Higurashi. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. Huh. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Dane, this dude doing math math. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. Let's go. I know he gets like a beard or something, so I'm questioning when that happens, or maybe it already has happened and it's just underneath An the muzzle. Escape for which the plan is written in this notebook. Using a cipher, naturally. <laughs> I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years and polished it to a fine sheen. This dude sounds seems really cool, though. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. Okay. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. Huh. I mean, I feel like it's not going to be that easy. It's probably going to get chased to some extent. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. I can see why he's here for two chapters now, though, that's for sure. The second suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. Fair. The cold will claim me in minutes if I'm clad in nothing but these rags. Dude, his voice actor is so good. I need to look him up and see what else he's done, because he does an amazing job here already, I can tell. The third and final... An accomplice. So you need a friend in all of this. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. I'm very excited for him to get a friend that will get captured mere seconds before he himself leaves. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. So I guess chapter one's gonna be like gathering all that stuff and chapter two is going to be uh blah 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 the actual escape maybe At which point only its execution shall remain wow though the next morning i was expecting to have like a dream sequence of him and his family or something just in order to get me even more invested <laughs> Wake up, human filth, to work with you. <sighs> All right. I do like that we at least got some inner dialogue from him, though, instead of just hmm. Two hundred and ninety. This island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. Wow. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the frigid earth. It's immensely flammable and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. 
the dialogue in this is so like I don't I don't know it's just it really grips me like usually I'm one that's way more for like a witty dialogue but like I don't know they use like very verbose words sometimes and it just really gets me like using line their pockets with the proceeds like stuff like that I just like to compliment Keep those hands moving. I just like to keep a mention of like all the best parts of these. I said, keep moving, unless you'd rather freeze to death. Ichiban, come on, man! You were in prison for a long period of time, and you even got your sentence extended. Remember when you ate into that bread, and it was extremely detailed, and how it freaking ripped when you ate it? When you took a bite, and there was like a guitar riff that played. What's wrong with you? You were in prison, man. You you can understand. You can have a bit of sympathy. Who? What? What the I hell? Can't move anymore. It's too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Poor dude. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever God you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. I'm it, Your dude. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to satellite. Do you want a satellite? Answer me. Bro, he's fucking dead, Warden, probably. Sir. Oh my he's god. Dead. Oh my god. They didn't even change like his pose or anything. I th I didn't actually think he died. Oh my god. An unfortunately common sight. Damn, the light ain't even. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment. No matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. <laughs> Jeez. They really do some good, like, doing some good build up on all of this. Alright, I was wondering when Howard we'd actually get around, but I guess the yard would make sense for all of this. Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. Escape route. The first, an escape route. Second. The prison is oh. as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. I mean, there's different... Hey, there's different voice acting. Yeah, so I'll keep it going. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. Well, that's good. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this provisioner. Provisioner. The third and final piece. An accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Someone capable enough. Those are the three pieces. Then all that will remain is, is the, the plan's plan execution. execution. All right. Well, geez, I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. Cold weather wear and an accomplice. Guess we're doing all three of those. Jeez. Oh wait. Reflecting on chapter one. Oh, that's interesting. I like that it's set. Is that why this is like a different color save point? Hmm. 
Anyways, wow, what a start. Like, I, I don't even have words. It's just like, what a start to all of this. We were just t we were just having like a fun jaunt going through the world as Ochet, and now uh, we are imprisoned. I mean, granted, this is a flashback, but like, still, it's insane seeing this backstory. Imagine if you chose him first. What a start to the game this would be. I mean, the start of a the start of Ochet's chapter was also nice and everything was nice and everything, but like this vibe is just super unique and like really like for me at least catched my attention right off the bat like you started up and you are instantly in the shitter like there is not any nicer way to word it you are simply in treated as scum and thrown in a prison muzzled because you know how to use spells which could help you in your escape and whatnot. Like, jeez, man. Obviously, I'm guessing Oswald's gonna have to get his muzzle off right before his escape plan, I guess. So he can actually at least fight back if he runs into anyone. Gosh darn, though. This is gonna be wild. And I'm very excited to get through it, but man, this... Ugh. The thing about playing RPGs, though, is that, uh, as, as you saw earlier in this recording, well, might have seen earlier in this recording, is I ended up skipping around a lot because of random battles and whatnot, which, uh, cuts down on the recording time, but in reality, it's still, like, you know, we're at a 57 minutes in the recording, and overall, it's probably been closer to, like, an hour and 15 minutes in reality. That's just, that's just a ballpark throw, though. And, yeah. So, I was planning to record two episodes today, but I don't think I have time for another one. So, yeah. Uh, next time on Octopath Traveler 2, we're going to be continuing Oswald's escape plan and seeing what we can gather in order to get off this frozen rock. Thank you very much for watching. And adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, matane.